Welcome to this podcast. This is a portion of enjoyment from the Holy Word for Morning Revival for today, week 5 day 4 on the topic of, living and serving according to God's economy concerning the church, 2023 Fall International Training for Elders and Responsible Ones. The title for this sharing of enjoyment is, Exercise Ourselves Unto Godliness by Exercising Our Spirit to Receive God's Dispensing. We hope you enjoy this sharing and we welcome your comments with what you have enjoyed. We need to exercise ourselves unto godliness by exercising our spirit to pray and receive the divine dispensing. For this, we need to build up the habit of exercising our spirit, even forcing ourselves to exercise our spirit, for this exercise does not happen in a normal or default way. On God's side, He has an economy, in His economy, He is dispensing all that He is, has, and has done into us for us to enjoy, partake of, and experience. When we open to Him through the exercise of our spirit and by turning our heart to Him, we receive His divine dispensing, and the result will be that we live a life of godliness. Godliness doesn't mean only piety or being pious, godliness is not something outward but the result, the issue, of our inner life. The more we live in our mingled spirit, the more we exercise our spirit to contact the Lord in all the details of our daily life, and the more we live a particular kind of life. Inwardly, we contact the Lord, we touch Him, and we remain in the organic union with Him. Outwardly, we live a godly life, a life that is Christ-like a life that expresses God. We do not try to express God. We do not ask ourselves what would Jesus do in that moment and in that situation. We simply remain in the organic union with the Lord by the exercise of our spirit, and the spontaneous result is that we live a life of godliness, a life that expresses God. Therefore, we need to day by day allow God to come in and also go out in us. First, He comes in by means of His divine dispensing, as we contact Him and remain open to Him. Then, He goes out by means of us living a life that is Christ-like, a godly life. If we all do this, if we believers in Christ live Christ and express Him, the church becomes the mystery of godliness, God manifested in the flesh, 1 Timothy 3 15-16. God desires to gain this ultimate mystery today, He wants to gain a corporate manifestation of Himself in the flesh. May we live in our spirit day by day so that we may have a proper church life for the corporate manifestation of God in the flesh. May we learn to lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness, not seeking to have big events and supernatural things happening to us. May we turn to the Lord again and again, in all the big and small things, even in our daily life and in our family life, so that we may live a life of godliness before God and before man. We need to exercise ourselves unto godliness by exercising our spirit to receive the divine dispensing. 1 Tim. 4 7b says, Exercise yourself unto godliness. The way we should conduct ourselves in the church life is to exercise ourselves unto godliness. We should not do or say anything that is not expressing God, that is, we should not do anything that isn't a proper testimony of godliness to others. When we do something, we need to check with the Lord, we don't have a set of rules with do this and do not do this in the church life, but we have the Lord in our spirit. If some saints say that we have no rules in the church life, so they go to a bar and drink beer and have no problem with it, then we need to realize that they do not exercise themselves unto godliness. This is not the freedom we are talking about. We need to exercise our spirit so that we may exercise ourselves unto godliness. Bodily exercise is profitable for a little, but godliness is profitable for all things, having promise of the present life and of that which is to come. God's desire and purpose in His heart is to gain a corporate man who is His image and exercises His authority to deal with His enemy. This is so that He may obtain His eternal rest. How can God's purpose be accomplished? It is not by our improving ourselves or perfecting ourselves it is by God's own life. We need to receive God's life, enjoy God's life, live by God's life, and express God's life, this is for the building up of the church as the body of Christ so that God may gain His corporate expression. It is not by our gifts, ability, or knowledge, it is by the life of God that His economy is carried out. Life is not so simple, for life is mysterious. May we not assume that we know what it means to exercise ourselves unto godliness, may we open to the Lord and allow Him to shine on us so that He may bring us into a genuine experience of Himself for us to live a life of godliness. The way to conduct ourselves in the church life is to exercise ourselves unto godliness, 1 Tim. 3 15, 4-7, 2-2. As we live in this age of the degradation of the church, we need to learn how we ought to conduct ourselves in the church as the house of God, the way is to exercise ourselves unto godliness by the exercise of our spirit. We all have to exercise our spirit because the mystery of God is with our spirit, Ephesians 1 9, 3 3 4, 9, 5 32, Colossians 1 26 27, 2 2, 2 Tim. 4 22. The key that unlocks the experience of godliness is the exercise of our spirit. The mystery of God, Christ, is with our spirit. 
our Christian life is a life of godliness, which comes out of God's dispensing of Himself into us. This, however, depends on us being those who exercise their spirit. 2 Corinthians 13 14, 2 Tim. 4 22, Philem. 25. We exercise ourselves unto godliness not by trying harder to express God or obey His Word but by exercising our spirit to contact the Lord. Similar to physical exercise, the exercise unto godliness is not something easy, something that we do by default. Exercising our spirit takes forcing ourselves to exercise to contact the Lord in all things, in all situations, and concerning all matters. A godly life issues from the dispensing of God into us as we exercise our spirit. When we exercise our spirit to contact the Lord in prayer, the Lord dispenses more of Himself into us. This will cause us to spontaneously live a life of godliness. The key to all this is the exercise of our spirit. Our spirit is not only the organ by which we receive, retain, and contact God, it is also the opening for God's dispensing. We need to open our spirit wide, exercise to contact the Lord, and allow God to impart Himself into us. On His side, God dispenses Himself into us. On our side, we exercise our spirit to receive His dispensing. The way we coordinate with God's dispensing is by exercising our spirit to receive and enjoy Him, and this issues in living a life of godliness. We need to build up the habit of exercising our spirit, 1 Tim. 4 7b, 1 Corinthians 6 17, Ephesians 2 22. As we grow in the human life, it is easy to accumulate knowledge and skills, and it is easy for us to think we know how to do this and that. But we need to build up the habit of exercising our spirit to depend on the Lord in all things. It is not only the things we say and do, but even our attitude in saying and doing things that matters. May we be those who exercise ourselves unto godliness by exercising our spirit day by day and in all things to receive and enjoy the divine dispensing. Lord Jesus, we want to exercise ourselves unto godliness today. Amen, Lord, we exercise our spirit to contact you and receive your divine dispensing. Thank you for releasing us from the bondage of sin and of the law. We just come to you freely to contact you, receive you, enjoy you, and partake of you. We want to build up a habit of exercising our spirit so that we may receive your divine dispensing day by day. Amen, Lord, dispense yourself into us. Remind us to exercise our spirit in all situations and concerning all things. May our spirit open wide to you so that we may receive and enjoy your divine dispensing. Dispense yourself into us a little more today so that we may live a life of godliness, a life that expresses you in all things. Hallelujah, godliness is the issue of the divine dispensing and we can exercise our spirit to receive the divine dispensing moment by moment. Learning to force ourselves to exercise our spirit in prayer to contact God, receive His dispensing, and express God. In the church life we speak a lot concerning the matter of exercising our spirit because this is very important. Living a godly life, a life that expresses God, issues from God's dispensing, and receiving God's dispensing depends upon the exercise of our spirit, 1 Tim. 4 7, John 4 23-24. The Lord is with our spirit, but if we do not exercise our spirit, He is no way to live in us. Exercising our spirit, however, does not happen by itself. Just as we need to pick up the physical exercise and continue exercising, even though we feel tired and want to give up, so we need to force ourselves to exercise our spirit in prayer to contact God. When it comes to doing physical exercise, many of us may not do it regularly, for it requires us to force ourselves, get out of our comfort zone, and actually exercise day by day. Exercising our spirit always produces godliness. To exercise ourselves unto godliness is to exercise our spirit all the time and in all things. If we do not exercise our spirit strongly to cooperate with the Lord, God cannot dispense Himself into us. 2 Corinthians 6 17, Romans 8 4, 9. This word, exercise, implies forcing. To exercise is always a forced matter. For example, for someone to compete in the Olympics requires exercise. They cannot be relaxed. They cannot exercise when they feel like it, and if they are tired, they skip the exercise for a while. In sports, people do a lot of exercise in order to prepare for the game and win the crown or the cup. We believers in Christ need to build up the habit of exercising our spirit by learning to force ourselves to exercise our spirit in prayer. Whenever we are in a hard situation, we have to force ourselves to exercise our spirit. If we Christians want to be strong and grow in the Lord, we must force ourselves to use our spirit. 2 Tim. 4:22. 17 to 3, 21 10, Romans 8 16. If we have a problem in the family life between the husband and the wife, the way to take care of it is not by asking both parties to calm down and think about it before talking, it is by each one of them exercising their spirit. If we don't exercise our spirit when we're about to argue with our spouse, the soul may become stronger and take over our being, 
and we may lose our temper. O oh Lord Jesus, so many times our testimony is that we were just relaxed in the matter of exercising our spirit and therefore we did not exercise ourselves into godliness, and failure ensued. To exercise ourselves unto godliness is to exercise our spirit to live Christ in our daily life. In our daily life with all its activities and aspects, we need to exercise our spirit. When we wake up in the morning, we need to call on the name of the Lord. We should not just wake up and have a coffee or take a shower, before doing all things and as we do anything in the morning, we need to exercise our spirit to call on the name of the Lord. If we believers in Christ want to be strong and grow in the Lord in a normal way, we must force ourselves to use our spirit. This is not a regulation or a rule in the church life, this is something that we all have to discover and practice for ourselves in our daily life. May the Lord save us from having a routine Christian life and a routine church life. May we be saved from being nominal Christians who merely read their Bible and attend the meetings of the church but do not exercise their spirit to contact the Lord. May we do this ourselves and may we be a pattern to others in the matter of exercising our spirit. We should not force others to exercise their spirit but rather, infuse something of Christ into them and be a pattern to them in exercising our spirit in all things. May the Lord gain this among us today. May the church life be filled with the saints who exercise themselves into godliness by exercising their spirit to contact the Lord in all things so that they may live Christ and manifest God. Lord Jesus, we want to live a godly life to express you by exercising our spirit in all things. Amen, Lord, we exercise ourselves unto godliness by exercising our spirit to live Christ in our daily life. We give you our daily life, our daily living, and all the things related to us. Save us from being relaxed in the matter of exercising our spirit. May we learn to force ourselves to exercise our spirit in all things. Amen, Lord Jesus, we want to exercise our spirit strongly to cooperate with you so that you may dispense yourself into us. Even in hard situations, we want to force ourselves to exercise our spirit. Hallelujah, God in Christ is the spirit is with our spirit, and he is joined to us as one spirit. Amen, Lord, we want to contact you in our mingled spirit so that we may be strong and grow in the Lord and so that you may be manifested and lived out in us.